Hi there, I'm David from DB Chartered Accountants. Merry Christmas everyone. This video is an appeal on behalf of all the accountants throughout the country. Christmas is coming and will soon be gone. As we all know, this will be a Christmas like no other that we have experienced before, due to the COVID-19 restrictions that we have had to live with now for nigh on nine months in one form or another. For accountants, the Christmas break is usually a welcome temporary interlude before the mayhem sets in due to the tax return deadline, which will arrive all too soon on the 31st of January, 2021. Despite clients being asked many times to provide the information needed to complete their tax returns over the last nine months, they still leave it as long as they can and send it in very late in January in the complacent certainty that their accountants will not let them down and ensure that it scrapes under the bar with HMRC just in time. And thus, another year goes by. Job done. However, this is a year like no other year. As we all know, COVID-19 restrictions prevented many businesses from working, and in fact, they still do. However, this certainly does not apply to accountants. At DEB, like most accountants, without a shadow of a doubt, we've had to cope with substantially more work this year than any year hitherto. A great deal of time has been spent answering phones to provide information, help and reassurance to our clients and to non-clients on our DEB helpline. At times of such unprecedented uncertainty, it was inevitable that business owners would need help. Who else could they call but their accountants for information about what on earth they needed to do? It was a result of this high demand for information that we started creating our video blogs to keep business owners informed. It was more efficient to provide information in a video than it was to repeat everything contained in the video hundreds of times in individual phone calls. Nevertheless, despite us providing lots of information in this way, the, the calls still came in, and we would expect them to. At DEB, we've always encouraged clients to call for help and advice. It was thus inevitable that this demand for help at the start of the COVID crisis would take up much more of our time. In fact, in March and April, it took up nearly all the time of those staff that were able to man the office, which were very few. A significant new source of demand for our time arose out of the need to do furlough claims for clients who were unable to do the claims themselves, which will continue until at least March next year. This work arrived at the really worst possible time in March when the payroll teams were already subject to great time pressure due to PAYE year-end work and the need to set up new payrolls for the new tax year. The extreme situations caused by the pandemic have proved too much for some accountants who were unable to cope. Their clients were left stranded and as a consequence business owners have moved to the accountants that were able to step up to the new demands. At DB, our clients have increased over the last six months for just this reason. Thus, there is no doubt that the good accountants around are inevitably experiencing further increases in demand for their time. Despite these additions to the accountant's workload, they were not immune to the problems caused by the virus and the lockdown. Both my son, Alan, and myself were struck down by the virus for the best part of a month where we were simply unable to work. We also had to have a cope with the office being shut down, home working, and frequent members of staff having to isolate themselves after being in contact with someone testing positive to coronavirus. All in all, we, and probably most accountants, have lost around two to three months of productive time, whilst having far greater demands being placed upon our time. The government, to a certain extent, realised that something had to be done to release the immense pressure being built up on accountants and extended the filing deadline for limited company accounts at Companies House by a further three months. 
thereby giving companies 12 months to file their accounts instead of the usual nine. However, no similar concession has been made for the self-employed, nor for personal tax returns, which still have the same deadline of the 31st of January 2021. Given this situation, it's somewhat irresponsible of people providing information late in January and expecting their accountants to perform their usual miracle to enable them to get their tax returns submitted on time. This time round, these latecomers may be in for a shock when they are told that there is no physical possibility of their tax returns being done on time in the remaining few days to the filing deadline. So what's the message that this video is trying to give you? Accountants are under severe pressure and stress at the moment and need your help desperately. Between Christmas and New Year, you will not be able to do a lot of the things that you have traditionally done. Please, please use some of this spare time that this provides you with to get the information needed to your accountant before the New Year and perhaps give them a sporting chance of being able to help you meet your deadline. This year, we implore everyone not to prevail with the previously held point of view that providing the information needed at the 11th hour will be good enough, simply because it has in the past. This is a, simply an unrealistic expectation. Please be kind to your accountant this Christmas and provide them with some Christmas cheer and provide the information that they need before this Annus Aribilis is ended. Even with the provision of this information before New Year's Eve, accountants will have a formidable task meeting the deadline. Anyone that does not provide the information by then is simply being unrealistic if they believe that their accountant can manage to beat the deadline as they've done in the past. At DEB, my wife, Lisa and all the client managers have in previous years telephoned clients constantly in January to try and get them to respond and send in the information that we need urgently. This year, there is simply not enough time to do this. So again, please be kind to your accountant at Christmas and hopefully make their new year a happy one for them as well. May I wish you all the best for the Christmas holiday, no matter how you are restricted in trying to enjoy it. I would also like to wish everyone in the world a far better new year than we have experienced in 2020. Merry Christmas, everyone.